I'm Emilio Pesmino, and this is The Bat. Today we're out here in a residential complex on a beach in Ecuador. And given that there's a lot of lights at night, it attracts insects. And those insects are going to attract larger predators, such as frogs, lizards, and in this case, bats. Now, Ecuador has a really huge diversity of bats. In this tiny country, there's over 170 different species. So it's going to be kind of hard to identify what bat this is just by looking at it. However, there's a few characteristics that lead me to believe this is called the Ecuadorian fruit bat. First is that, that distinct kind of like, you know, leaf they have on their nose. Not all bats have that. And this is kind of characteristic of the fruit bat. Second would be the lack of tail. This is another indication that it's probably the Ecuadorian fruit bat. You see that some bats have tails, but these guys have absolutely no tail. Now that I think about it, if I say it's a fruit bat, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of me explaining the thing about the insects, but you, you guys get the point. He was around the building. <laughs> Given that I'm not 100% sure on the identity of this species, I'm just going to talk about bats in general. Bats are the only mammals in the world that can actually fly, and they are one of the most diverse groups. They make up 20% of all known mammal species, second only to rodents. The wings of a bat are actually modified hands. Each little kind of like stick you see is actually a finger, that's why there's five. I'm holding the pinky on each end. And they evolved a flap of skin between each long, thin finger that serves as wings, and that's how they can fly. Bats are nocturnal creatures, and they spend most of their days hiding in caves or in holes. To support their flying abilities, bats must have an extremely fast metabolism, much higher than other mammals. In fact, they can digest an entire fruit within 20 minutes. When they're flying around at night, they can't see very well. So they use this thing called echolocation, which basically means that they make sounds and then hear the noise that comes back to try to identify objects in pitch darkness. That's why bats have excellent hearing and they're gonna make these little like clicks in the dark. Like I mentioned in the tarantula hawk and praying mantis video, mantids have involved a special organ that is used to detect the echolocation of bats. Bats are some of the smallest mammals in the world. In fact, one species called the bumblebee bat from Asia holds the record for the world's smallest mammal. Unlike most small mammals who have very short lives, some species of bats have a very large lifespan and they can live up to 30 years. Bats can carry certain parasites such as fleas and ticks. When they're sleeping, they use their back feet to hang upside down. Bats have a very strange way of drinking water. What they do is that they scoop down on the surface of a lake or a river and they're gonna lick the water as they're flying. Pretty incredible, huh? Bats are often considered pets and they're villainized, you know, that's where the character Dracula came from, the vampire. But there are some misconceptions we have to clear up about these little guys. First of all, the vast majority of bats do not suck blood. In fact, there's very few species that actually do and those are the vampire bats. And even them will only usually do it to like animals like livestock, such as pigs and cows. As I mentioned before, I think this is a fruit bat. So in reality, he's only going to eat fruit. Believe it or not, bats eat millions of tons of insects each year. And according to some studies in the US, they save America up to $50 billion annually that will otherwise be spent on pesticides and make up for lost crops. Many people also think that bats are full of diseases, and while in some cases it's true they can carry certain diseases, such as rabies, it's actually pretty rare that they infect people. Due to their tiny size, bats have many predators, such as snakes, birds like owls, and even some frogs. Their best defense are numbers. That is why they form these massive colonies, so that when a predator attacks, they get confused by all the commotion. In some of the places they live, there's another reason they form really big colonies. When it gets cold in winter, these guys actually hibernate. And one of the ways they keep warm is by huddling together to conserve body energy. Bat feces, called guano, is an extremely rich fertilizer. In fact, it used to be Texas's largest mineral export before oil. Unfortunately, more than half of the bat species living in North America are currently threatened or endangered. 
And one of their biggest threats is a disease called white nose syndrome, which is caused by a fungus that is very contagious. Well, it's time to let this little guy go. Eat those pesky mosquitoes. Bueno muchachos, till next time.